I'm going to show you how to do a timeline timeline animation in Photopia. Uh, normally in regular Photoshop there's a panel for timeline and we don't have that in this software so we're going to learn how to do it a different way. So let's just use a template here. So I'm going to go to File, New and pick a template. The one that I started with, um, I use this one. You can pick any of them that you want. And the key here is we got to take all of the contents in this existing file and put them in a folder. So I'm just going to shift select the top and the bottom layer and push it into its own folder. And you have to name the folder something specific here. So I'm going to double click it. I'm going to name it underscore lowercase a underscore frame one dot. And then you put a number. And this is going to be your frame rate speed. Um, if you did something like 100, it's super fast. So um, in the sample I'll provide for you to show you the finished one, I did 25,000. All right, so um, you can make any modifications. So this would be like the starting frame. Um, if you wanted to change the text, you can go in here. Let's just do a quick change here that just says, Good morning instead of hello world. You could change the background color if you want to, um, but I'm just going to keep this easy here. All right, so I made one simple change and then I'm going to collapse this folder. I'm going to duplicate the folder. The easiest way to do that is a control J shortcut. <coughs> and we need to name this frame, frame. and frame rate's the same so I'm going to leave the 25,000 I'm going to take out the word copy here <coughs> alright so right now these two frames frame folders are identical except for the name 1 and 2 so whatever changes you want you're going to make the change in the second folder so I'm going to turn off the first folder and expand it, change it. So if I wanted it to say something different here, instead of good morning, I could change that up here. I could change the background color. I'm just going to do a quick background color change. Something like this. Um, if I wanted to change the appearance of the bird or the location of the bird, all of this is part of the bird that was supplied by the template. Um, they're not named by part, so here's his legs, um, body, here's his beak. So I'm just going to make a quick change. I'm going to do a control alt T, because remember, control T opens a new tab on the beak. And I'm just going to try to rotate it a little bit. I can find the rotation handle here. Here it is. Come back. Oof. It's very touchy. Let me zoom in, control plus, and see if this works better. There we go. And I'm going to move it. So it's going to rotate and move the beak a little bit. All right. So again, you would make more changes than this. I'm just kind of showing you the process here. So let's take a look at it. So this is frame one folder. This is the original. Um, frame that's going to show and then it's going to replace with this version which I thought I changed the background color apparently I didn't so let's go back in here make a color change for the background brighten it up a little bit click OK all right so now let's collapse it so here's frame one and then it's going to go to this version here. If you want the text to say something else, you could go in here. Let's just change this text to say, all right. So got two different 
frames and what it's going to do with the frame is interchange these when you export it as a GIF. It's really super easy to do so let's go ahead and move on. All we need to do now is file export as it's going to be an animated GIF and it's showing you here how it's going to change and you can change the speed so if you want it to go super fast you can take it up but I'm going to take it all the way down here and change the size. I'm just going to leave the default and I'm going to save it. So it's going to name it whatever the template file name was. So um, now I want to go to show in folder. That's template two. And here's the end result. So again, I didn't make a whole lot of changes. I changed the text a little bit, changed the background color, and I moved the beak. Um, I did another one earlier that I'll show you. Um, if I can find it. Yeah. Animation. So here's another version of kind of the same thing. So this one I added some custom shapes of um, musical notes, changed the background, and I changed the position of the beak. So that's how you can do, and obviously if you want a third change, you would just go back in, back to Photopia. Again, you could duplicate this same, this folder again, and then make other changes. You can keep on going with it. The key is you've got to keep naming it in sequence. So if you did another one, it would be A frame three, et cetera, et cetera. So have some fun with it. And again, to create the animation, um, file in the end, you do a file and export as, and then the only one that's going to do animation for you is your GIF file extension. Enjoy.